I came out uh, in my early 20s. I actually wasn't and hadn't really realised that I was gay before that. I grew up in the countryside in Devon. Um, it's quite traditional, slightly conservative values perhaps. I identify as bisexual, but I didn't really know that until I was quite a bit older. I identify as lesbian. Um, I am actually married. I have been with my partner for about 20 years. When I was growing up, there certainly weren't uh, very many positive uh, LGBT role models. In fact, I honestly can't remember any uh, gay men tended to be stereotyped. When I was growing up, um, I always felt like there was something not quite normal about me. I probably knew that I was gay around the age of 15, um, but I didn't come out until I was 17, thinking that, you know, potentially my life would be a lot easier um, if I were just to just to act like I was straight. So I didn't really realise that I was bisexual until I met my current girlfriend and I realised that I had more than just a friendship with her. When I got to around 13 or 14, um, I could remember all of my friends starting to kind of go boy crazy and start talking about um, guys basically and I just remember being genuinely confused. For a long time I decided that I uh, would not uh, be out uh, except to a very few close friends. One of the things that helped um, in my life at least has been moving to a city uh, like London which is full of all types of people and a sort of diversity that you can't avoid, you have to embrace it and that means embracing yourself and everyone else. When I first joined the city law firm it was very difficult to be out. I was certainly not out though I I believe people probably guessed. This gang of girls, including some of my friends, uh, came up to me in the schoolyard and they're all like, you're gay, you're gay, like, you never talk about boys, you've never mentioned any guy that you think is cute, like, you're definitely a lesbian. And I just re remember being absolutely horrified at that thought. I was probably 24 when I met my girlfriend. Um, and so by that time, you know, all of my family and friends all thought I was straight because so did I, and I'd had long-term boyfriend for like six years so I was a bit worried about how my family and friends in particular would react. And then when I was at work sometime quite some time later um, I got to know a couple of uh, colleagues uh, and it turned out that they were both gay they were obviously both very happy um, and uh, they were out certainly to their immediate teams and it made me realize uh, perhaps to some extent what I'd been missing. And when I did tell them they were all really supportive, but also one of the things that at least one of them said to me was, actually, I wish you'd told us earlier because I really feel like I know you much better now. And there was always an area of your life that I didn't actually really understand or appreciate. And I think we're closer for it. It was quite a big decision for me. Uh, there's a lot of pressure on people to, to conform to what society says is acceptable, which I felt uh, in the area I was at that time, uh, it wasn't seen as acceptable. Um, but once I did, all of my, everything that I was concerned about, I, I realized was, I was just blowing it out of proportion. So gradually, little by little, I began to uh, come out to people. And of course, it was fine. And things really did get better, as I felt more, much more comfortable in my own skin. One of the things I'd have to say is that being in the closet is so isolating. And you feel like you have this massive secret um, and this huge kind of weight on your shoulders. And since I've come out, and also since I've started working uh, professionally at Denton's, um, things are just so much better. The response that I've had from absolutely everyone has been really, really positive and really encouraging. My mum found it quite difficult and I got all the, the uh, normal questions like, is this a phase? And no, oh, this isn't a phase. Things have changed very dramatically. Since then, there has been tremendous legal reform um, I'm now able to be married to her and that is considered to be totally acceptable and normal. Nowadays, of course, it's quite different. It is so much better. Professional services firms such as ours really welcome LGBT plus people and rightly so. But at Denton's, um, I've always felt completely able to be out and honest. Now I work as a lawyer in the city at Denton's. Um, I am, I've both been openly gay um, from day one that I've been here. The firm have always been really supportive to me. My dad took it brilliantly and he became, it became something which he was very proud of me for, for growing up like that. In the office, I would not dream of hiding the fact that I'm a lesbian. I have had 
nothing but support, certain at Denton's and indeed at, at other firms that I have worked at in, in recent years in the city. It takes a lot of strength to grow up in a world which is, seems to be telling you to be something which, which you're not, but it really does get better and now being who I want to be and being comfortable with that is just, it's just so rewarding. As a result, I think, because everybody here in terms of LGBT staff can be productive and can be true to themselves and actually that's really a basic requirement that everyone should have so it's just nice that the firm's embraced it and that a number of other organisations do likewise. A lot of the staff here wear rainbow lanyards and it's a really small gesture but from the second that you walk into the offices here in London um, you're extremely aware of the fact that everyone around you is wearing a rainbow lanyard and therefore they don't have any issues with gay people so from the second I started working here, I felt very, very comfortable. I feel very fortunate to, to be in a workplace which not only actively supports uh, my sexual orientation, but celebrates it. We have a very strong LGBT network where everybody can feel included. Um, we have many allies, non-LGBT people, who also show their support and make us feel welcome. And it really does get better. It does definitely get better, and I'm here to tell you that it does, and that actually don't let yourself um, hold you back from being who you really are. If people like you, if people love you as a person, then they don't really care about your sexuality. And I know it always feels like a massive deal, and, and it's something that really worries people when they want to first come out to a few people or to their family. But as a general rule, I think, you know, people are interested in you, they're not interested in who you want to sleep with. So, be brave.